Here we study the buoyancy. When a rigid object is submerged in a fluid, completely or partially, there exits an upward force on the object that is equal to the weight of the fluid, which is displaced by the object. This upward force is called force of buoyancy or simply buoyancy. Buoyancy equals weight of displaced fluid. F to the base B equals small g into density into V. The force of buoyancy would be the same for the equal masses of the objects, as it does not depend upon the type of the matter the object is made of. The apparent weight of the object equals the original weight, minus the buoyant force exerted. Or buoyant force equals weight in air, minus weight in fluid. F to the base B equals W to the base A, minus W to the base F. For example, if a box which is hanging on a thread in a pool, had initially a force of 20 Newton, is exerted by it. Now the force of buoyancy exerted back by water is 3 Newton. Then the net force exerted by the rock is 20, minus 3 equals 17 Newton. It is noteworthy that it is quite easy to pull an object through water than to actually lift it from the bottom of a water pool. This rule is very useful in determining the density and volume of an irregular object. It is done by measuring its mass in the air and also when it is submerged in water. It can be understood by the point that, when the object is removed, the volume that the object occupied will fill with fluid. This volume of fluid must be supported by the pressure of the surrounding liquid, since a fluid cannot support itself. When no object is present, the net upward force on this volume of fluid must equal to its weight, that is the weight of the fluid displaced. When the object is present, this same upward force will act on the object. Buoyant force equals density of fluid into volume submerged into gravity. In terms of pressure, buoyant force Fb is given by where P equals pressure and A equals area. In terms of volume, height and area, it is given by F to the base B equals G rho V equals rho G H A. Where rho is the density of the fluid, G is the gravity, V is volume of the immersed part of the body in the fluid, H is the height of immersed part, and floating objects. Is the area. When an object is floating, the net force on it will be zero. This happens when the volume of the object submerged displaced is an amount of liquid, whose weight is equal to the weight of the object. A ship made of steel can float because it can displace more water than it weighs. Buoyant force equals weight of object, density of fluid, into volume submerged into gravity, equals density of object, into volume of object, into gravity. Volume submerged by volume of object, equals, density of object by density of fluid. Thus the fraction of the floating object that is submerged, stand in ratio to the density of the object to the density of the fluid. For objects with a vertical wall, around the outside such like a rectangle, we can reduce the above equation even farther. Area density submerged, by area height of object, equals, density of object by density of fluid. Density submerged, by height of object, equals density of object by density of fluid.